These drill batteries have failed. They no longer charge. And they will no longer work in their tools. So let's take them apart, diagnose them today, see why they have failed, and see if they're worth rebuilding. So I'll be honest with you, I already took the screws out of this one because I was curious to see what was wrong with it before I started the camera, but it just had four screws here and the top popped off and then there was a spring underneath this connector. By the way, here is the uh, information on the battery for anybody who wants to follow along. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. So we just have a few cell connections. These are our main power connections. As you can see, they go directly to the outputs. There is nothing between this. This is not a battery management system. This is just a monitor board for the charger. And we may get into that in a later video. But let's see if we can take this cell stack out. Just trying to prop it. Let me grab a screwdriver real quick. So I've got this small screwdriver and what I want to do is try to take this tab and lift it up. Yeah, and then pry the, the cell stack out. There we go. Don't worry, I'm a professional. I don't know how to do this. And so there was just some double-sided tape in the bottom and there we go. There is our cell stack. Just a 5 series 18-volt um, cell stack. So let's get the multimeter out and test and see why this thing has failed. So I got out my pan vise here to hold the battery pack um, a little bit better. And then, of course, I've got the good old faithful Fluke 77 here. So let's measure our cell voltages because there has to be a reason that the charger does not want to charge this pack. Again, this is not a BMS. The battery cannot act for itself. Um, so there's got to be a reason the charger and the tool does not want to fool with the battery. So let's see here. Um, this will be cell number 5, 4.15, cell number 4. Oh, 1.3. That's not right. Cell number three, cell number two, and then cell number one. So cell number four here going from positive most to negative most. Your negative most is always your cell number one going to your positive most. So it looks like cell number four here has had some kind of internal fault and is now way below the others. Okay, so that's what's wrong with this pack. Let's go through the Craftsman pack and see what's wrong with it. So I have the Craftsman battery pack here, and if you can see that it has these little security bits in it. So I'm going to have the security bits that I got from just our local Harbor Freight, and so I'm going to see what looks like it's going to be a T10 bit. So you can see the hole here, and then the Torx here has a hole in it to correspond. So it looks like it's going to be a T10. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with T10. So it's going to be a T10. Let me get these screws out and then we'll see what's inside this pack. Okay, so this is what the latch assembly looks like. It looks like just a button that sits down in here with a spring. And then here is the plate that goes on top of it. Let's take these other screws out. Okay, and that's all the screws. That was a lot of work. It would have been a lot easier to do with a drill, but guess what? The drill's broken. I only got one battery for it, so I uh, can't use the drill to take them out. All right, so let's take this top off and see what we're looking at here. Okay, so just a very, very simple board again. Let's move all this stuff out of the way and zoom in and see what we can see. So there's a button for our display and our edge mount LEDs up under here, but I want to take this core stack out. So I'm just going to start prying and see what happens here. Okay, there we go. It's just going to pop out. Okay. Just like that. And look at that. There is a Craftsman battery core stack. Can't tell what cells these are, but they're probably Samsung or LG. So. Uh, let's get the meter out and see what our cell voltages are looking like. So let's tell, test our cell voltages. I believe this is cell, this is your positive most point, and this is your negative most point. Uh, again, there's no real BMS on it. You just have this fuse on it. And we may talk about how drill batteries work versus other batteries in a later video. But um, cell one, nothing. I mean, cell five, excuse me, nothing. Four, nothing. Three, nothing. 2 nothing, and then cell number 1 
is nothing. So this cell stack is completely dead. Okay, so let's see how we're going to fix both of them. So both of these packs are going to have to have new cells, which I do have prepared uh, from the last video. These are Molly P26As that I um, salvaged and shrunk in the last video. If you missed that, that'll be up here uh, in the corner. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Next video, we will take and we will rebuild these battery packs. And I will show you how to take and properly um, rebuild a drill battery. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, special thank you to Pro Technologies. As always, they are my employer. I use their lab uh, to film everything in. That is where I get all these materials to make these videos with. So if you would like a BMS designed by yours truly and uh, a battery pack designed by our engineering team and built here in beautiful Pilot Mountain, North Carolina, make sure you contact sales at protechnologies.com and I will see everyone in the next video where we rebuild these battery packs.